Hi, I'm Hugh Hewitt, the president of the Richard Nixon Foundation and Yorba Belinda. Coronavirus is on everybody's mind, of course, and of course here at the library we've already felt its impact as some visitors from the People's Republic of China are not coming who have been scheduled to come. We hope, of course, along with everyone, that it will pass quickly and that a vaccine will be found and indeed treatment so that the number of people who fall ill and indeed succumb to the disease are few. But we also like to remind people that this vast effort that you see underway now, all the national science, all the national research, had its predicate well back in the 1918 flu when there was an effort led by the Woodrow Wilson administration to, to throw everything they could from the Army side at discovering and diagnosing the original, quote, Spanish flu, although it originated in Kansas. Richard Nixon has one flag in this very well-traveled ground. That is, he launched the war on cancer in December of 1971, setting down a model for a national crusade against not another country, but a disease. The war on cancer, of course, continues, but since 1971, it has manifested itself in literally hundreds of ways as various groups of people afflicted either in person or by members of their family, their friends, or their community to rally around research efforts and efforts to raise awareness, early detection, cure, and treatment of a variety of diseases as vast as the dictionary that catalogs them. We hope in 2021 to celebrate the 50th anniversary of President Nixon's launching of the war on cancer, and hopefully by 2021, the sort of progress that everyone understands and knows about will have been achieved.